Sophie goes to lunch at a restaurant with Jennifer, who is her best friend, and Miss Abbott, who is Jennifer's mom, after shopping. After their meal, when Sophie and Jennifer chose a glitter pen from the restaurant's treasure chest, the hostess accuses Sophie of taking an extra prize. The hostess tells Miss Abbott, who questions why she thinks Sophie stole a pen. Well, she said with a smile, as if she and Miss Abbott were secret friends. You know how they are. They'll steal every time they get the chance. This makes Miss Abbott furious. Hi, my name is Delilah, and welcome to Mag Reviews. In this episode, I will review the book It All Comes Down to This by Karen English. Her family's opinionated housekeeper, Miss Baylor, was no help. Life for Sophie wasn't going as she planned. One afternoon, while exploring her father's office, Sophie found a letter from a woman named Paula Marisi. She didn't read the unopened letter, but suspected that her father might be in a relationship with another woman. This was established later while at the mall with Jennifer and her mother, Sophie sees her father in a small coffee shop with another woman, holding hands. Sophie was convinced that that woman was Paula. Meanwhile, Sophie's older sister becomes involved in a relationship with Nathan Baylor, Miss Baylor's son, without her mother's approval, who just believes she's playing around with him. However, Lily ignores her mother's warnings and begins to date Nathan. Sophie's summer is ruined when her f mother leaves her father. This is caused by her father's mistress calling their home and her mother coming across a credit card charge from a motel room. Sophie's mother tells her and Lily she is going to stay with Aunt Rose and Elsinore. A series of events had occurred when a riot was happening in Miss Baylor's neighborhood. The Watts Rebellion begins with a young black motorist, Marquette Fry, who is pulled over by a white police officer for driving while intoxicated. Sophie must deal with the tension of her parents' marriage, her sister's difficult relationship with Nathan, racial prejudice from her neighbors and community, and the rebellion in Watts. It is a summer that will change the way Sophie sees her identity. This book's theme is racism and poverty, but Sophie is more affected by racism than poverty since her parents have well-paid job, jobs. Her dad's a lawyer and her mom is a director of an art gallery. In my opinion, English projected a ne negative event that occurred in the past in the book into an easier way to understand. She offers young readers to think a bit deeper on the Watts Rebellion. She also brought up the topic of racism in, uni in a unique way. This book had many little incidents that happened that I couldn't keep up. Sophie was accused of stealing a wallet that had go gone missing for weeks. Then the climax happened when the Watts riot occurred. English's way of writing is very unique but not my preference. Every author has their own way in writing their stories, but her way is just dull. In my opinion, to be a writer, you have to have a big imagination and I don't feel that while reading the book. One thing that I liked about the book is the adventures that Sophie, Lily, and Nathan would go on. I also liked how Lily proved to her little sister that she could be accepted in a boutique that didn't accept people of color. Lily showed her little sister how to be independent and courageous. I would recommend this book to ages 12 and up since there is some inappropriate use of language in the book. I would also give this book a rating out of 3 out of 5 stars since it was, it was nice to read about Sophie's and Lily's adventures, it just wasn't enough to for me to give it a 5. That's my overall review on It All Comes Down to This by Karen English. Mm -hmm.